think maturing for me is finding out or figuring out that you're never going to get to a point where everything's good. There's always ups and downs and challenges and anxieties that come in. There'll be days where I feel great and then there'll be days where being human feels a lot harder. About a month ago, I watched Jonah Hill's documentary about his therapist, Stutz, and I really resonated and loved what he said about life force. He said in the documentary that when new clients come in to see him and tell him they're feeling lost or down, the first thing he likes to teach them is the life force method. Pretty much it's working from your relationship to your body, to your relationship with the people around you, to your relationship with yourself and how each of those is a building blocks to kind of pull yourself out of those harder feelings and give you a bit more support. So in this video, I wanted to just take those tools and use them myself and hopefully come out of it feeling a little bit more grounded, connected and excited for life. Hey guys, so I started my morning off with a really nice walk. I feel so much better from that. It's crazy how much just exercise affects us mentally so much. The amount of times I've gone into a workout just feeling so like down or just overwhelmed by a certain situation and then I leave the workout being like, huh, it's actually all fine. I like, feel so much better. It's crazy. Like. I feel like I never really used to exercise frequently, like in high school. I always did dance growing up, but apart from that, like I was never a sporty person. And when I started working out regularly after graduating, I feel like I was like, I wish I'd known. Like I, I know everyone always tells you exercising is so good for you, but like I wish I'd known someone would be like, Joy, you without exercise versus you with exercise are completely different joys and you definitely want to be the joy that exercises because it literally helps me so much. I feel like our relationships to our bodies are so complex. I think society has often taught us to care more about how our body looks rather than how it feels. Like even so much of the health content we see online pushing a healthier diet and a healthier lifestyle is more about how that looks rather than how that feels and I've really tried over the past few years to really like distance myself from that and focus more on how I feel in my body and what works for me and not just like trying out something because it looks good. Health looks so different for different people and we all have such different bodies and they look different and they also need different things. And I think a healthy relationship with your body is more about just understanding your body and figuring out what works for you. And I'm definitely always learning that. And that's another thing is like our bodies are constantly changing. What worked for me a few months ago might not work for me now. And that's also okay. I think also over the past year or two, I've experienced my own health issues like a lot of us do and I think in those moments you then have this like greater perspective of just how lucky we are to have bodies that function like the fact that I'm sitting here right now talking to you guys and I'm not currently experiencing any pain or discomfort is so amazing and the fact that I can walk A to B without thinking much and I can eat food and my body just digests it without me having to like think about it or do something is like pretty insane when you really think about it and I'm really trying to like have more of that mindset about my body of just complete gratitude and like actually say that to myself like anytime I find myself looking in the mirror or my body and like judging it for how it looks or something I just instantly try to catch myself and be like no your body is working for you you are so lucky to have this body and you need to take care of this body and your body is your friend not your enemy and I think that has really helped with my relationship to my body and I, th I really love that Stutz puts your relationship with your body as like the first step because I feel like once you are feeling better in your body and you've worked on that life just feels so much easier to then start building on like other parts of your life that need to improve recently though I've been really slack <laughs> with exercising I just feel like 
ever since I got back from Europe, I never really like got back into like a good routine with exercising. Um, like I never signed up to like a new gym. The gym that I went to before I left has actually closed down. And so I've just been procrastinating signing up somewhere new also because it's expensive. But if there's anything that I want to spend money on, it's my like my mental health and my health in general <laughs> on the topic of investing in my mental health i would like to thank the sponsor of this video better help better help is the world's largest therapy service and 100 percent online whether you're feeling lost anxious depressed or simply want to stay on top of your mental health BetterHelp can help tap you into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. What I love about BetterHelp the most is that you can have therapy whenever and wherever it's convenient for you. Simply take a short quiz and BetterHelp will help match you with a therapist and you can schedule to text, phone or video call with them. Therapy is so personal, so if your therapist isn't the right fit for you, you can switch to a new therapist with no additional charge. I love BetterHelp for creating a more affordable and flexible way to receive quality therapy because I really do believe it is so important. You can now get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp using the link betterhelp.com slash joyish. I'll make sure to link it below for you guys too. So I've just come home. I'm actually gonna go get ready now and I'm gonna meet my friend Cameron for sunset. Whenever I'm in a, I don't know, more emotional place or down or feeling lost, it's definitely when I sometimes withdraw naturally a little bit more. But the truth is like people and relationships are always what make me feel so much better. I recently actually lost my cat me just getting teary talking about it i haven't really said it online at all obviously everyone that's had like a childhood pet their whole life knows how much you love them and how like big that is to grieve them i know that he had a great life and i'm happy that he's not in pain anymore but yeah it's it's a weird thing to adjust to and i'm really trying to reach out to the people that i feel good with and share with them and be vulnerable and yeah just have a nice time I think playing and having fun and conversations with people in our lives is just like so so important <laughs> And that triggers camp because she doesn't understand how how do clouds stay up in the sky? How do clouds tell work? Me, tell me, they do weigh they, tons. But do they weigh they tons? They do weigh tons because they're full of evaporating water. And they I listened float. to a podcast about clouds the other day. Of course. <laughs> Hour long. It was a two-parter. And uh, <laughs> and yeah, they're literally they weigh. I'm okay, let, sure. let's show you what we can it's see fact, right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> before you claim it on the internet. Yeah. These are the clouds we were referring to. They're just floating there. They look so three-dimensional. They, they looked even more like intense before. Yeah, they really did. Okay, a cumulus cloud, which is the ones that look like Simpsons clouds, like yeah. the bubbly ones. A typical cumulus cloud weighs about 500 metric tons or 1.1 million pounds. The weight of 100 elephants! Ah! And they just be floating. They just be floating. And we fly through them when we catch planes. <laughs> And then there's just people surfing down here. Yeah. Not knowing that we're freaking out about, about the clouds. <laughs> about the clouds. <laughs> I feel like I have finally come to terms with the fact that I'm like fully an introvert. I think I was always a bit confused because connections and relationships and friendships are so, so important to me. And like that is such a big part of who I am is like wanting to connect to people. But at the end of the day, I definitely do recharge from being alone and I think I've really come to love that about myself and really enjoy that. Enjoy that I love being by myself and that I get so much energy from just going into my cocoon. So I feel like my biggest tool for like strengthening my relationship with myself is just making time for solitude and time to take care of myself and like do self-care rituals like have a bath do my skincare read a book all that i think journaling obviously if you guys have been following me for a while you know journaling has just been the best tool for me to get to know myself better to understand my emotions to get clearer on what i want and yeah i've been doing it for such a long time now that it's just become such a ingrained practice for me but I think without it my relationship to myself would be very different because yeah journaling really like allows me to kind of have an honest conversation with myself and tune into how I'm feeling every day and understand it and get clearer and yeah I don't know I think we can get so in our heads and think we're having conversations with ourselves because we're constantly thinking but it's very different when you actually like write about how you're feeling and what's going on for you and all that and seeing it actually on paper it's like you really do get to like talk to yourself and kind of react and see it and understand it as if you're seeing it from the outside so yeah I'm really grateful for today it's been a great day I think it's been a really good reminder that whenever things get overwhelming or you're feeling a bit down just go back to basics it's so basic like your relationship with your body, your relationship with the people around you, relationship with yourself. Like it seems so obvious, but when we're down, it feels like those things wouldn't make that big of a difference. But it's just about taking those little steps and nurturing all of those relationships that are so important. That just makes all of the difference. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope this inspired you to invest in yourself a little bit better. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in a video very soon.